pick this function anyway again? So why multiply by this function? Here's the answer. This kills. It goes to zero, right? And it goes to zero faster than just about any other function you can think of that doesn't involve e, right? This thing kills everything. And this thing, you multiply by e to something negative, e negative something kills. It doesn't matter what it is, it's going to kill it. So it kills things. Well, why is that useful? Because you're integrating from zero to infinity, man. You're asking for area under a curve, right? Is that going to have a finite area under the curve? No, dude. What's got to happen? It's got to die. Okay. The, simple, the simple explanation here is if you want this to be anything, the function has to be killed. Okay. You have to kill it somehow. You have to make this very small. The way you make it very small is with this. Okay. So, I have to have something that dies. This thing must die. It must must die. I can't say that enough, it's fun. It must die. So how do you make things die? This is a great thing. This is basically BS. I mean, this is just a, it's sort of a naive explanation. But I want you to see why, why that definition makes any sense at all. Why is this fantastic news? Well, first off, what happens here? You know what? If there's E minus ST, what happens in the limit? You die. I once had this argument about uh, years ago, one of my students and I said, that. Yeah, you, you just want the answer now. I'm not going to give you credit. But what's the right answer? I said, I don't care. I could care less. I said, I said, well, what's the right answer? And I said, OK, if the, will the bridge fall down? He's like, what? I said, will the bridge fall down? He says, I don't know. I said, well, say yes or no. And I, he said, yes. I said, OK, how do you know? Your response to me is, I got the right answer. OK, I'm back. Of course, if A equals B, then L of A has to equal L of B. That's the dumb part. The breaking apart part is the part, party, part, part, down there part. Okay? All you have to do is Laplace the crap, solve it. I mean, that, this is like high school arithmetic now. By the way, when you want to put something down in, in mathematics, you say high school arithmetic. It doesn't matter if it's like, a, you know, if you're graduate school physics. You just say high school arithmetic. And anyone who doesn't know feels like they're stupid. And you feel better about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the next thing I want to talk about today is one of my favorite subjects, which is hitting things. Okay, so um, what I want to do is uh, come up with a model for that. Okay? So the idea is you have a differential equation, maybe modeling a mass frame system or an RLC circuit, and you just want to hit the thing and see what happens. And that's what I think when I get people to handle. How reasonable is the delta function? <laughs> <laughs> you make a sign here, I'm going to crucify you. Time goes on in, what's decreasing? Predators are decreasing, right? Predators are decreasing. What happens to prey? Hey, we're not getting eaten. Let's have some kids. Okay, it goes on and on and on. Predators, the prey is increasing, the prey is increasing. All of a sudden, the predators say, hey, there's lots of stuff to eat. Let's have some kids. So the predators are increasing, crazy, crazy. Get them out of here. There's some sort of tipping point where now there's too many predators. They start eating the prey again. So the prey starts going down, 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 down. Then all of a sudden the predators are like, hey, there's no more food. Let's start dying. Okay. <laughs> now, God, this is really simple. I would eat your corpse. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. It's a Halloween joke. <laughs> and I got you know, I gotta get pounds up there and I gotta cancel gallons. So if I'm thinking here, what I need to do is somehow get gallons per L B somehow there, right? To make the units cancel. That's how I got through physics. I don't remember a damn thing except that the units had to cancel and that carried me through a long way. Not so far, but long enough for them to give up. This is how we spell Man Tar. There's an evil ruler of Ubam. I just made that up. It's not, you know, it sounds so weird, you know? Science fiction has like the dumbest names ever. And, and they all sound true. Like, you know, yeah, I was reading a book about uh, Montar, he was the ruler of Ubam. And then there was this king named Stanislaw. And, um, you know. <laughs> Um, just as a little aside about this, um, a real world application, my father used to work in a Ford electric vehicle back when they were intending to build one. Um, it had several problems. The operating temperature, the 
uh, the motor was, uh, the batteries was 800 degrees. So um, you might imagine that would be some trouble on a cold machine today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you have to have a gas heater to uh, yeah, the yeah, iron and bitter and stuff like To get the batteries to operating temperature, you must have a gas on the engine. Okay, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't kind of figure it out. Anyway, on an electric motor, they were using the motor to slow down the car, which is smart because it, it, the motor will generate electricity. Um, so, you know, you get to off. Essentially, you can use the braking, which is burning energy for, and you can use it for, for, some, other, for some other purpose. So, um, the braking system is kind of strange, though, um, because it's not like it's not like the brakes you're used to. And so, there are sort of psychological concerns how people feel about that. And some guy just comes up, what if they just start beating on the brake for some reason? They just start pounding on the thing, pounding on the brake. And some guy just decides to figure out what happens, and it turns out if you pound on the brake, at a certain interval with a certain frequency for a certain duration, you will burn the car to the ground. <laughs> no joke. No joke. At least theoretically. It wasn't, you know, I don't know if it was that or not, but the guy working with my dad was like, hey, you know, we need to you know, okay. And you might say to yourself, and it was something insane, you know, you go a thousand times at a certain frequency, but you know. I mean, if you told me that, the first thing I would do is that. <laughs> um, <laughs> The okay, first derivative here is the velocity. And so we sort of think of this thing here is um, saying no damping. I put that in quotes, of course, because it's not quite right, but it's, it's, it's right enough in the case that you're talking about a mass and spring. And at least our models for damping are related to how fast you're going. Because there's always this idea here that uh, you know um, damping is related to velocity. And if you don't believe this, then what you do is um, you try and hold your hand out the window of the car when it's going real slow, and you're like, yeah, that's no problem. And then as it goes faster and faster, it's a big problem. And then your buddy's drunk, and you care if the little stop sign and your hand comes off. And you know, you understand velocity was a problem, right? Because if you did that at slow speed, the hand would stick you there. Now, um, if it's the early 80s or even the 50s, your hand will come off. And you being an artist, your hand will be possessed. Um, movies work, and we'll come back and launch it. <laughs> and the difference between the 80s and the 50s is, in the end of the movie in the 50s, you throw the hand in the fire, and the fire hand come out and start strangling you, and you'd be fighting the hand, and then all of a sudden you go like this, and smile at the camera and walk away, because your hand's back in the game. And in the 80s, you just uh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> You make a sign here, I'm going to crucify you, and I will eat your corpse. It's Halloween, it's Halloween joke. <laughs> 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 <laughs>